decision has to come by really reinforcing the boundaries. Because being an enabler uh, becomes almost as much a part of the addiction as, as whatever substance or behavior the addicted person has. A person can become addicted to the avoidance of dealing with the responsibility. And the enabler's identity gets wrapped up in uh, what they're doing to really try to avoid confronting and setting boundaries around the addiction behavior. So the, the enabling person, if they really are serious about uh, changing that behavior, really has to deal with almost the same taking responsibility and setting firm boundaries as we are encouraging the addicted person to do. So in posing the question to you, each one of you, what do you do today that stops you from getting back in that quicksand? What do you do today so that you don't revisit uh, those times in your life that you all talked about when your life was out of control, when you were, were trying to fix them? What's your maintenance today that you do to be healthy and functional? My maintenance is going to meetings. Um, we've been to a number of different kinds of meetings and um, we benefit the most from this group meeting because of the education piece first and then we have the support. But to get recharged every time we go to a meeting, to get reinforced in the strategies that we learned so that we could brace ourselves for when another episode occurs so that we have that strength to set the, re, restate our boundaries and um, stay firm in our expectations. When I start to feel myself maybe backslide a little bit and maybe want to help a little more than I should because I don't want anything bad to happen to my son. I remember what Jim said, one of the first things I heard him say when, when I came to these meetings because I was always concerned that if I if I didn't do the right thing, if I didn't give him the money, if I didn't take him in when he was drunk and disorderly and all that, that I was saving him from being killed or something tragic happened to him. And Jim said, no matter what you do, if that's going to happen, that's going to happen and it's not your fault. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times I said that to myself. Mm -hmm. I do the mantra, you didn't cause it, can't control it, can't cure yes. it. And, and it, I just, in my head, over and over and over mm -hmm. again, and, 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 and the quicksand analogy, you know, and sometimes I even just physically take a step back, and, and that kind of helps ground me when I need a reminder, and coming to the meetings to give me the reminder to do that. Although it is our family who brought us here mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. the One meeting. way or the other. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, that's a great reminder. The new people that come into the group are usually not. They've right. lost their sense of humor, just yeah. as we all did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're sad. They're tearful. They can't let go because they're still trying to take responsibility for their loved one. Not in our lovely family. This can't be happening. We've all said that. Mm -hmm. None of us dreamed of this no. addiction. Mm -hmm. None of us. Mm -hmm. and, and neither did they. No, that <laughs> is true. They, they didn't choose this. Um, uh, this isn't because they like that. But until they stop and allow that brain to heal and access the tools by which to stay stopped, they've given up choice. Uh, choice happened when they first started using, uh, but that's a difficulty that people have. Uh, they still think that, that it's a lifestyle issue with them. It's a choice as opposed to reaching that point where I've literally rewired um, the brain. And, and that's why, again, to rationalize with them, can't you see, mm -hmm. don't you know, mm -hmm. see how you've hurt your mom, see how you're hurting me, why don't you just change, uh, is just wasted effort. Um, uh, and, and that's part of the empowering that we get here and understanding, which makes it easy for us to come 
and to be very selfish in the sense that I'm here mm -hmm. tonight for me, mm -hmm. not to talk about them. And it is difficult for new people to get that at first or to sit in a room with some people laughing genuinely and saying, these people are crazy. Well, how can they <laughs> laugh when if they knew what I was going through? But they mm -hmm. stay around long mm -hmm. enough and, and they allow themselves to learn and they start making the difficult choices. They come to that point too, uh, where it is kind of like getting your battery recharged. Mm -hmm. It's a place where you can come, uh, where you're understood, you're accepted, you're acknowledged. Uh, and you're valued, uh, and um, you get your basket full of some tools that you can go back and use. I mean, it, uh, to me, it doesn't get much better than that.